In this series of special 25 AV interviews, we'll be digging deeper into each artistic pair's collaboration and their resulting work. In this interview, we're speaking to Paris-based producer and sound artist, Aude Van Vila, AKA Euler Zox, and Ghent-based filmmaker and visual artist, Leonard Lefeva. So the pair of you have had a mutual appreciation for each other's work for a while, but this is the first time that you've officially collaborated. How was the process of working with each other? So I think we are both two very autonomous artists who have, who have a lot of uh, different visions and approaches on the, on the medium film. And because we are both working in, or before in another medium, we have, of course, another workflow. And in the beginning, it was really like probing and, and seeking to find like a way if we could surf on together. But after some time, the, the two uh, workflows collided more and more together. And I think that's really in, in the film. And the title of your work, um, it's called Viewable Only From The Seat. What's the meaning behind the title and how did you try and communicate that within your piece? Yeah. Um, so the film plays and works a lot with the landscape in film and what it is to look at this filmic landscape and what it is to look at the film and then to look at the screen, which is in fact uh, just like a projected uh, image on the wall most of the time. So we we try to accentuate that uh, that fact actually, which makes uh, the viewer very aware that he is. Uh, looking at the at the film and at an image and i think out of that the the title um, came because like you as a as a as a maker chooses the the place where you uh, set the the seat for the for the viewer like you choose how far or how, how close and in, in which um context you place a seat but the, the viewer choose if he wants to sit down and if he wants to to see um and in the film itself um i think it's it's best shown by uh the building scenes there are like a lot of scenes in the film where i'm building uh a house in a really classic uh filmic landscape and the house is actually a kind of 2d uh, almost theatrical set piece that is getting slowly built up if you would move the camera then you would see that it's like a, a flat uh, thing i'm building but the, the camera is not moving the camera stays the same and that's because we as uh, makers uh, choose that. And it's also like um, the whole reason, reason somehow of the of the film because it's like um, actually in the there is a sort of a dialogue that is not really appearing uh, frontly, but there is a dialogue in between a voice like that is the voiceover that has been written by Leonard about. Uh, maybe um, not an order, but something that uh, a character should do. And, um, and this message uh, is uh, traveling, let's say, like in between scenes uh, in a tube, like if it was sent as a message. And um, it's like a viewable only from a seat is like a sort of an instruction the voiceover says. Your piece also is intended to kind of develop and continuously change. Um, so how do you see that happening in the future? I think to me, what was a very important uh, aspect of the film was to insist about uh, route and path and maybe like a movement in space. And it would be a, 
very good opportunity to maybe like try to to work more with movement and work more with like how to how our sounds and image can appear in the in the field and like I'm a bit into like mobile devices and automatized movements and I I've saw that Leonard for instance uh, created already like sculptures that has this uh, ability and I would and myself I'm working on like a uh, built-in sound system like a Bluetooth sound system or stuff like that and I think it could be very nice to maybe have add, add this this narration uh, in space with maybe like more sculpture work and maybe as Leonard said um, maybe like also to perform it yeah indeed I, I think the film now is maybe in a beginning stadium or, or where we could 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 get to I think it would get more concrete I think if we would uh, work uh, longer together and I think our both um, mediums would also come closer and closer and closer until we we merge in in uh, a more uh, I don't know, more direct form. I think in the film there are a lot of uh, things that could get in digged deeper. Like for example, the the building, uh, the building stuff. I did it now um, on my own. But I think if we would be there and do it together and both build, but not only on build on image, but also build on sound in the same time. I think the work could reach really a higher quality and a better end. To find out more about Ord and Leonard's collaboration and watch their AV work in full, head to 25av.eu.